impossible to wake up unhappy in this van. Every day I wake up and I'm just in an amazing mood. We're still at um, Lac de Vassavier and check that out. We've just had our breakfast and we're just packing up to get ready to go to our next stop, the next adventure, which is going to be something pretty awesome today. Uh, no BMX involved, something pretty different, but it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, I guess you'll see that when we get there. with us today but that doesn't matter because today is a BMX free day we're doing something different we are we have just arrived uh, at a place called Padirac um, in particularly Le Goffre de Padirac which means Padirac cave um, got recommended this spot by a friend um, and originally it was out of the route that I wanted to do but when I saw pictures of it I couldn't not come so here we are let's check it out that is a cool little van we were following that up earlier and it had to let us take over because it for once there was a van slower than us Pretty cool. It was it's an underground chasm, and this part was formed when the roof of the underground river collapsed. It's like 98% humidity, and it's a constant 13 degrees all year round. And the river is 12 degrees all year round. We're on our way underground. going for another 40k I don't think we're gonna do the whole 40k today but that's a lot of underground caves oh. 
to be in the person to discover all this for the first time. This is incredible, we're so deep underground right now. Created over millions of years of water flowing. underground deep underground like 90 93 meters underground for 500 kilometers and then a whole tour through the cave and then back again so we did like a kilometer on this river unfortunately we weren't allowed to film on the river but hopefully the rest of the footage will come out and now it feels like we're coming out to the deepest depths of the air back onto the land at our camp spot for the night um, the first few camp spots we had lined up we had like a few backups of the night because we didn't know what they were were all rural laybys and the first all three of them were all getting roadworks on and right next to a really busy road so we drove an extra 15 minutes to this town St. Rome de Tarn to a nice little car park just right next to the river and when we, when we got here um, I was like, what's that noise? And it was just like, it sounds like really fast flowing water, so just gonna go and check that out, I thought. Wait until you see what we found. So this little town, St. Rome de Tarn, is like a really, really old town, like nestled in the mountains. Um, National Park, Grand Course National Park it is. Um, and there's like old castle and stuff. Old chateau on top of the hill, surrounded by really old buildings and all tiny little streets and stuff. So we drove through that, and now we're right down by the river. And when I went to check this out before, it seemed really quiet. There's not really many people around me. There's a few houses, but wait to see this spot. It's so cool. Oh my god, this is sick, this is so cool! I just found this spot completely by accident. We didn't even plan to come and park here, this was not where we were planning to come. Good time. Get a 
wash in a waterfall. Just on the wash in a waterfall. <laughs> what a day it has been. Sometimes things just work out for the best, like finding this place and finding the waterfall by accident. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as we've enjoyed our day. Now I'm just gonna chill out with a beer, watch the river, and watch the sun go down. Cheers for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.